if you struggle to control your oil paint and by the end of your paintings it's just a big thick mess and you can't get colors or the paint to do what you want it to do then this video is for you hi welcome to paint coach my name is chris fornatero here to help simplify oil painting so that you can get better faster so this is definitely the most asked question that i get it's the problem people struggle with the most when they first start to oil paint they probably have come from acrylics or watercolors where it's really easy to layer the paint and now they get oils and they're like oh is, this, is it too thick is it too thin do i use the medium it's thin it's thicker how do i layer it it's all a big muddy mess what do i do well i'm not going to keep talking about it i'm actually going to show you so let's jump on to the easel all right so i have my paint thinner got the linseed oil my paint Got like a little tree outlined here. I'm just gonna show you kind of how I go about painting in terms of thickness of the paint. When I start out, my paint is not thick. You know, I like to think of scrubbing in darks, laying in the lights, or at the beginning of the painting, I am moving paint, opposed to at the end, I am applying paint. I'll demonstrate that in just a second. So here I'm just mixing up dark green Just some paint thinner and so if this is my tree you know the paint is thin, but it's not like a wash or anything. Now, I'm going to make it lighter. It's going to be slightly thicker. As I put in highlights here. And if you notice, like I'm applying the paint and at this point, you know, you'll see me rotate my brush and spin it because, uh, you know, when you get too thicker paint and you have to lay it in on top of other paint, you need to think of it more as getting paint off of your brush, um, opposed to like brushing it into the canvas. Like if I have to put like a highlight here, you see, I'm spinning my brush and I'm laying the paint down, I'm getting it off of my, my brush. So, let's see if I wanted to put more paint on get more of like a vibrant green in there this paint it's gonna be a lot not a lot thicker but it's gonna be thicker so I can lay it down and the painting will tell you how thick you need to make the paint you know, it'll, you know, if you can't make a certain stroke, you know, try going thicker with it. Now here I want to get pretty thick for these lightest highlights here on the edge. And a cool thing about um, oil paint is that you can use a palette knife if you want. And when you lay paint down when it's raised up off the canvas like this, it's just going to have a certain look to it because you're going to hit a value you can't get with a brush.
And even if you lay it down with a palette knife, you can still take a brush and push it and move it around if you want. Like it's got a brush here. Say if I wanna kind of push that around. But this is like a perfect example how it's applying the paint. You know, I put the paint on there, and now I'm pushing and moving it around. I always say, you know, that's such a big advantage with oil paint is when you get it on there, that's just the beginning. You can push it, you can pull it, you can scrape it down, you know, move it around, you know, take advantage of it. So now I'm putting in these darks for the tree trunk. Maybe there's some areas that are a little lighter, so I'm gonna have to thicken my paint if I wanna go over certain areas. Now, a big thing with this is also knowing when to paint around something, when to paint over it, opposed to paint around it. So, if we have a sky that's behind here, and you know I want to put in sky holes you know I'm still I'm laying the paint in or laying it on you know you're getting the paint off of your brush spinning your brush if you have to reloading remixing up you know making sure you got enough paint on your brush. You can see how I'm constantly mixing up more paint. It, having the correct amount of paint, you know, having enough paint on your brush is very important. Now, even when you have a really small brush, like I'm going to use this little rigger brush, same thing. You really want to make sure you got enough paint on your brush. To make the marks you want. You can even use this in doing little sky holes. But you just don't want to be stabbing your brush at any time. You always want to be laying paint down. So if I wanted a little sky hole there. there maybe I want to come back to my tree trunk lay in a highlight here and there so remember scrubbing your darks lay in your lights thin out your paint with some paint thinner when you're first blocking things in and progressively get thicker with your paint and think of it as getting paint off of your brush onto your canvas and spin your brush to get all the paint off of it you only get about one or two strokes per side of the brush also remember the painting will dictate how thick or thin you need to make your paint if you can't paint over top of something try thickening your paint and go on over top and remember, you can go all the way to using a palette knife and really laying on that thick paint. This is a great tool to use to get a really good effect because when you go to that thicker level of paint, it pushes things to another value. This is really good when you want to put some really strong, good highlights that are going to punch and really make something pop. Also, know when to paint around something and when to paint over something. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. If you're looking for full-time painting video tutorials, I have that on my Patreon page, which is linked in the description below. Also down there, I have a Foundations of Oil Painting course. It's over seven hours of content and goes over pretty much everything I feel is important to know as an oil painter.
And if you want to see what I'm painting on a daily basis, you can follow me on Instagram at Forza43. I'm Chris Fornatero here telling you to go get painting.